again, welcome back to the channel. Well, I just want to go over monitor calibrating, something which I should have done a long time ago. Been too lazy, thought, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Never got around to it. And ironically, as luck would have it, Data Colour reached out and asked me if I would like to try one of their Spider X Pro monitor calibrators. So, of course, I said, yeah, send it over. <laughs> so, anyway, they've sent me the Spider X Pro. I think that's the, it's not the top of the range, I think it's the second, if you like, second in the range. I think there's an, a Spider Elite as well, Spider X Elite, I think. But anyway, <laughs> I'm happy with this. So, I thought I'd just make a quick video and run through calibrating my monitor. Now this monitor, it's a 27 inch Dell LED. Um, don't think it's 4K. It's only a sort of middle of the road monitor. I didn't want to go, you know, and spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I think this was, this was still a lot of money, about 180 pound I think, which is fine for me. It's so much better to edit, um, do my uh, Premiere Pro edits and also obviously uh, image edits. It's better on this 27 inch than on my small laptop. Now I have only got this linked to my laptop, but hopefully the Spider X, I mean, both colors are exactly the same. I can't tell the difference between this 27 inch and my laptop. So hopefully everything should be fine and it should work okay. Um, so anyway, in the, I've got it out of the box already. I have uploaded the software. It gives you all, all the details on where to download the software. So that's all downloaded. It's given me a product, a license a, a code, license code, which is also, if I can undo this, no heck, it's also on a sticker in the box there. So it comes with a license code, so there's no having to go online to get your license code, it's in the box. And basically, that, that is all that's in the box. Just your little uh, uh, software download, and then the Spider X, obviously USB connection, and that's it. So I'm at the first, I've da obviously downloaded the software and I'm at the first screen, so let's crack on. Right, so monitor's been on for a good hour and a half, two hours now, so let's tick that. So the monitor is warmed up. Have you allowed the display to warm up for half an hour? Yes. So let's click that. Lighting conditions. Now obviously I'm making this video, <laughs> and it's uh, not exactly how I would normally edit, but let's just see what it does. So, have you checked that no intense light is falling directly? Well, sort of, but I'm gonna try and edit like this for now, just for the sake of the video. Display controls, have you reset the monitor settings? Right, so let's reset these settings. Back to factory settings, so color, reset color. Let's go down to that, reset the color. Okay, ooh. <laughs> I have obviously tried to sort of calibrate it myself, but to make it look good to the eye, but not good enough. So let's go back to that. So we've done that now. Have you reset the contrast default? It's all back to factory settings now, so that's all okay. We can click that. Spider connection. So connect the spider into the USB port, not into a hub or keyboard. So let's plug that in. So that's now plugged in. So click that onto the next page. Right, desktop or laptop? Well, I'm gonna say it's a desktop, so we'll click desktop. Next. Right, select the display manufacturer. Well, obviously, it's already worked out that it's a Dell. It's even it's even got the, the right display model, S2719H, so that's all good. That's nice and easy. Right, brightness. So now it's gonna go through a brightness check. Right, brightness, next. Please select backlight. Well, this is an, a wide LED. I know that's a wide LED, so we'll click wide LED. Uh, select this if your monitor is white. Yeah, gamut, so it's color space. Yeah, so we'll go next on that one. Right, choose your calibration settings. I'm gonna go for a full calibration. So, let's go next. Right, make sure you have no intense light falling directly on your display screen. Well, I've got one light above me. <laughs> but we should be all right. Right, once you click the next button, a room light measurement will be taken. Right, we'll see. <laughs> so let's click next and see what it does. Room light is very high. Why did I know that? This level is not recommended. If you must work in these conditions, use a monitor hood, umbrella, or photographer's cloak. <laughs> and calibrate the display to maximum brightness it can. Right, recommended. So keep the settings, accept recommended settings. So, 
let's accept recommended settings and see what it tells me to do. Right, please stay at your computer after you click the next button on this screen. Right. The application will take a few measurements and then wait for you to adjust the brightness and control. So it looks like I've got to manually adjust the brightness as well. Right, so let's hang. So it obviously comes, if you can see that, but it comes with a, a base and obviously there's your, your monitor. So that pulls apart, so I'll pull that apart, hang that over the screen, just hang that there like that. Jobs are good, and once you click the next button, the calibration process will begin. Right, we're off. Obviously, I, I, I should have done this ages ago, because I want to, you know, I want to start doing some prints, some landscape prints and stuff. So, hopefully, what I see on this screen after this calibration will be what I see in print. Right, click the update button to measure the screen brightness. So I have got to now manually go into the brightness and bring it down until it's within the green zone. Right, so let's get the brightness up. Let's take the brightness down then. So, I think a lot of us, just talking about brightness, I like my screen really bright, and I think it, it can be a bit, of a, a bit of an error on our part, on my part anyway. So this is gonna be really interesting to see what brightness it comes in at. So let's update that. I took it down to 70% now. Oh, whoa, click up, right, so it's taking it well past. It's taking it well past, so let's go up again. So I'm gonna take it up to 80% now. Let's go to 80%, because that's, actually I'm gonna go to 85, because that's took it well below the green notches. Update, update. Ah, you know what it is. <laughs> it's this look. Right, let's take it down again. Right, what a wally. Right, so I'm gonna take that down again because, <laughs> what an idiot. Remember that guys, if you're gonna do some calibrating. My menu was gray, obviously it was reading the gray. Tells it's working. <laughs> right, let's go in again. No, let's go off that. Let's go into there, into there, onto the brightness, into the brightness. Let's take it down to 85. Right, now hit enter. What an idiot. Take that off and let it read that. <laughs> right, so we're just under now at 85%. What a wally. Right, so let's take it up to 90 now. Let's go up to 90. Come on, that's a bit right, let's hit enter on that. Update. Ooh just below the green, so we'll take it to 97% perhaps. Crikey. So into that, well let's take it to 95. See what that does. So that's at 95. Oh, now we're over, so 93, crikey. It's good though, at least you know it's working. So let's go to, no, not on that one. Let's go to, I'm gonna take it to 93% now. Take that off, update. Right, we're in the green, so that's spot on. So let's carry on now, continue. So that's interesting, 93%. Right, now it's going through a load more colors again. Yeah, so hopefully by doing this, when I send my prints off for printing, um, they should come back exactly what I see on here. But that's interesting that I was over brightness. It says it should only take two minutes. This Spider X is meant to be a two minute calibration and had I known to take the menu off so it wasn't grey and it was reading the grey screen, it would probably have been not far off two minutes. So it's already halfway through. So fantastic device. I know in the past, I think when I used to work at RF Pranwell, we used to use a spider and it used to take ages. I mean, this is that's going back a few years now, but we're nearly there already. So really quick, really impressed with that. So well worth it to keep up your, to keep your screen monitors uh, calibrated. And uh, I should probably do this one for month, once a month. And hopefully it's we're nearly there. How quick is that? That's it. Finish. Measure completed. Please remove the spider and click finish. So remove the spider. Thank you very much, spider. Put it back on its protective case. 
click finish. So name and save your new profile. So it's given me a profile name. So I'm just going to leave it as Dell 2719H. So save that. Calibration, rem oh yeah, it's saying calibration reminder. It's given me one day, two days, one month. Two I'm going to leave it at one month. So let's leave it at one month. I've got my profile now, which is great. So we'll save that. That's it, congratulations, your new po profile has been created and your system will automatically use this new profile. Well that's spot on, how easy was that? Let's go next. Ah, spider proof calibration view. So you are looking at the calibrated view, view. click the switch button for the uncalibrated view. Oh wow, look at that. That's amazing. Look at the difference. Oh, that's so cold, cold and green. And that's nice and warm. Oh, I'm really impressed with that. So let's just look at these. So let's look at that and switch. Oh, heck. That's great. That's loads warmer. I do find that I have to pump in reds and yellows in, in my edits, so. That's great. So that's uncalibrated and that's calibrated. That's spot on. Happy with that. Next. Ah oh, yeah, so it's giving you an RGB. So it's view your current view your current display's gamut. So that's not that's not far off really on the triangle. So that's okay, I'm happy with that. That's an sRGB. I wonder what Adobe RGB is. Whoa. 79%. So this screen is 96% sRGB now, so 96%, I'm happy with that. Quit. That's it. Job done. <laughs> well, I've got a few landscape prints that I want to send off. Um, I'm going to send them off to Loxley Print in London. So I'm going to leave that monitor as it is. That does look great. That looks really good. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave that as it is. Send off some prints and see how they come back. They should come back exactly as I'm seeing them. Fingers crossed. So brilliant. Anyway, yeah, so that's just a quick, quick one on calibration. Um, so I'm going to do it once a month now. And uh, well impressed with that. That's the Spider X Pro. What, how long did it take once I <laughs> realised about the menu screen coming off and it was reading the grey? A um, couple of minutes, two or three minutes after a bit of faffing about and soft, the software upload was straightforward, straight on the system. I'm running Catalina and uh, it's uh, loaded up no problem at all. So I just copy and pasted the, the licence the license number pasted that on and then I was straight into that setup screen so yeah jobs are good and Spider X Pro by Datacolor and thanks ever so much Datacolor for sending it over I shall uh, make sure I use that once a month now well jobs are good and hope you enjoyed that guys get your screens calibrated <laughs> a bit sooner than I have <laughs> left it too long and uh, yeah jobs are good and thanks ever so much for watching guys take care catch up soon